Hey, what's up interwebs? I'm that toy guy and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Transformers the movie deluxe class barricade So here he is and I bought this at a comic store a long time ago and it didn't come with a box so I Have to throw him which is funny because they had a battle in the movie the first movie and you never saw it ever And it was kind of disappointing but the new barricades coming out for the new movie and apparently there's a fight between him and uh Bumblebee, so I'm looking forward to that. But you know what? Let's do it this way. Let's let's stand you up right there. And I knocked a DS off the table. A Nintendo DS just fell off the table. So Bumblebee. There you go. My poor old DS just fell off the table. Does it still work? Please say you still work. Ah, it still works. Oh my god, who remembers Picto Chat? Anyways. Anyways, on to what I'm supposed to be doing, which is this guy. So, here he is. And I really, really like this toy a lot. I wasn't sure whether to get this one or the Dark and the Moon one. The Dark and the Moon one's a little smaller. I still wouldn't mind getting it because it's a brand new mold. And Barricade's one of my favorite movie characters, even though we barely get to see him. And then he gets his eyeballs shot out, and now he has a new face entirely. But yeah, I'm basically doing this review right now because I'm going to get the Premiere Edition, uh, the Last Night Barricade. Because I just, I have to, it's, it's Barricade, I really like Barricade. So, I will be getting that. But, right now we're looking at this dude. And, he's a police car, he says police. You have the Decepticon logo and the police thing, and it says to punish and enslave on the side. There's police there, 643, you've got Frenzy Wood going here, but I don't have Frenzy, so, yeah. You do have the nice translucent uh, headlights though with some silver paint on them. You got some orange there. Nice purple. That's a little crooked. This one's straight. This one's a little crooked. But yeah, you got the translucent colors here for the light bar. You have translucent windshield, except for the back. But that's just because this becomes the legs and it needs stability. But if you look inside there, you can kind of see the legs form a seats. Form a seats. I know English. They form seats. And that's pretty cool. It looks like you could actually seat a person in there. Underneath you can kind of see, you know, arms, legs, feet, crotch, underbelly. Yeah, for a quick comparison, here's next to High Octane Bumblebee, because the other Bumblebee's on the floor. And he broke still, so, you know. Anyway, to get this guy transformed, the first thing you want to do is, well, if you want to, you could remove Frenzy, but I'm not going to do that because I don't have Frenzy. So, you want to come back here and untab this entire section right there and just bring it out. Just untab and bring out, and that'll flip around. And now he looks really weird. And what you want to do is you want to rotate these arms down just like so. Take this section and bring it down. It's on like a triple hinge there. And these two tabs will tab into those two slots right there. They'll angle forward a little bit too. Then what you want to do is you want to come down here, split the legs, shift them up. They're on like a figure art style joint, so just shift them up. Then what you want to do is you want to ratchet that down and then ratchet that again at the second knee. Fold the foot down and it will soft click, just like that. And fold up his little toe spike. They have one of Barricade's legs, all done. Do the same thing on this side. And then stand him up. Then you want to straighten out the arms here. Raise this up. You want to come to the arms, pull out the thumb, and then split the fingers from the bottom. Just do that on both sides. Pull out the thumb, split fingers from bottom. Rotate around, just like so. And then fold this section down, slide these out, push the head through. There you have Barricade in his robot mode. And he looks really, really cool. 
I really like this a lot. He is a deluxe. But he's pretty short for a deluxe. Here he is next to Rook. He's about the size of a modern day deluxe, which is pretty short. And just for the heck of it, why not? Dare I say why not? But yeah, Barricade, he's cool. Skydive, you need to stay here. He has a gimmick where you pull on this little um, lever right here and, whoop, and his arm goes down. Pull on it and he's supposed to punch, but it doesn't work very well. Just like, watch. See, he punches. And it does that on both arms. So yeah, just getting closer on this head sculpt. Very nice barricade head sculpt. I do like how it looks. I just wish the gold was silver. Other than that, it looks really, really nice. Very gappy hollow chest without frenzy in it. You got some nice purple and silver going on there for legs. There he goes, he's falling over. Now he's falling over because his hips and his shoulders have ball joints in them. So be very careful with this guy. There's articulation, head, nothing. Arms, ball joints, they can do whatever the heck you want them to do. There's a butterfly joint in here as well. These are on ball joints, so they'll move out of the way to accommodate. Elbows bend about that far, and the fingers wiggle due to transformation. Legs can go forward. They also have this extra joint here if you want to use that. No thigh swivel. You do have this. You have a swivel at the knee, and then you have an extra knee, so I mean, you can do that with that. And the feet are pretty much stationary unless you want to unpeg them. But yeah, overall, he's quite nice. He's pretty cool. I do quite like him a lot. Can't wait to get the new Last Night movie barricade, that's for sure. So that has been my look at the Transformers the Movie 2007 Deluxe Class Barricade. And I'm that toy guy, and stay tuned for my next video.